just want to show you around a typical flat that I normally buy with joint venture investors to run as serviced accommodation. This one's a little bit different uh, because uh, this investor wants to release the capital and uh, so we're going to sell this on but we're going to take the advantage of um, the summer and we're going to get this running for a few months as a serviced accommodation that way um, it will fetch more money and it looks more staged and we're not motivated to sell so what have we done we've uh, ripped out the kitchen and we've uh, replaced the bathroom we've plastered throughout made it quite modern and light and airy and replaced the front door we're going to uh, put in carpets in the bedrooms and laminate flooring throughout uh, so with this property we've had to rip the kitchen out and replace it with a new one we've made all the walls elephant's breath which is pretty in right now. There's a bedroom that runs off the living room. That's the second bedroom there. Third bedroom and we've also ripped out the bathroom. I'm going to replace the bathroom. As you can see it requires a little bit more work before it's finished. Uh, flooring needs to be down. The bathroom needs to be fitted. Painter needs to come in for snagging and then the place needs to be furnished for serviced accommodation. Now I said at the beginning of the video I'm going to be selling this one on with the investor but before we sell it on we might as well take advantage of the summer and get a few thousand pounds in before we sell it. When we sell it uh, the property is dressed, it's staged it will fetch a higher price than if it was empty. Now, if it was empty, we might be more motivated to sell, but if it's cash flow nicely, we were not that motivated to sell. So either way, we win. I hope you found this short video interesting and helpful, um, especially that tip about running as a serviced accommodation before you flip it on. If you have any questions, please drop me a line. Thank you for your time.